Allen's Heating and Cooling is your licensed amount of equipment dealer. Trust Allen's Heating and Cooling to install and service your heating and cooling unit. Allen services all brands and with the purchase of a new Amana, offers a lifetime compressor warranty. Call Sean Clark or any of his friendly staff at Allen's Heating and Cooling. You're a Amana dealer. Amana lasts and lasts and lasts. Welcome fans, it's time for Friday Night Football. And now, from Farmer State Bank, Ben Knight. Ben Knight, what do you got for us? Ron, we have a ton of excitement tonight, dedication, and a commitment to excellence. Come be a part of our team at Farmer State Bank and join us on Friday night as we celebrate the Crusaders, the Fighting Irish, the Falcons, and the Raiders. And remember, it's as easy as FSB. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. The Game of the Week crew has traveled across the bridge over here. We want to check out this new gym. Here we are. It, we're midway through this ball game. We're going to let you in halfway through. It is the East Lawrence Lady Falcons taking on the Burke County Bears. And we're going to fire one up quick. No good. So start out this game. First quarter, not a lot of offense. Second quarter gets rolling a little bit better. Burke County up three now, 19-16. Yeah, I mean, going into the second quarter, it was only 7-4, I want to yeah, say. Yeah, it was, it was a low score. So, Burke and East met earlier this year. The Lady Falcons come out on top on that one, 59-41. Now they got their backs against the, against the wall, down five right now after that. And I think you said they're also playing with a girl out right now, right? She's back in. Back I can in. confirm she's okay. back in. Yeah. So um, she sat out. She got hurt early in the first quarter, and that's going to be a real standout on this team. McKaylee Tanner, who went out early in the game. And she's come back in. She tw twisted her ankle early in the game. She's back in now. Played uh, the second quarter. She's in there now. Offense really runs through her, as there is a bucket for the East Lawrence Lady Falcons. Offense run through her as well as her twin sister, right. Brenda Tanner, who's on the bench right now. But you put both them, both them get rolling. That's big for the Falcons. Yeah, we did a coach's show a couple weeks ago, and those are two names that uh, Coach Lothar spoke about a lot yep. at length. And here's one of them. Good pass. McKaylee Tanner gets it in there. Great pass to Jayla Givens. All right, that makes it a one-point game. 21-20, Bears up. And that's what Coach Lothar also said in the coach show about McKaylee. She's developing as a passer. Right. So last year, all she wanted to do was shoot the rock. And hey, we know she can do it. Yeah. But there's a great pass from her and where she's been growing her game. Yeah, you can't rely on you know one player to get everything. You got to no teach doubt. them, they got to pass yeah. it out. Burke floats one up, no good. He's going to come away with a steal, but Burke will take it right back. It's good for two. Burke up 23-20 now. It's Givens taking the rock down the floor. Excuse me, that's Alexis Reed. That's go. on me. That's definitely on me. She'll fire one up, no good. Under six minutes to go now in this second quarter. Travel on Burke, East basketball. So East Lawrence girls averaging scoring 59.2 points a game, only allowing 38 points a game. That seems like a recipe for success in my book. That does. Foul called on. I'll wait on the signal. I'll call it on the east side soon. So Danny Lothar's gonna check in. Fresh legs in there for the Falcons. A lot of excitement around both East Orange basketball programs this year. The girls, they're four and one. Really, they lost, they dropped their first one of Idalia since then. Some huge wins, one of them of course over Burke. Played Tuesday night, blew out Twiggs County. A lot of excitement around this girls team. And they play an exciting brand of basketball. They're That's fun right. to watch. 
and their women on top of that. You got to love that. Here's East working it down the floor. That's the Asia Thomas. East working it around now. Play clock under, shot clock I should say, under 10. Still, still rubbing that football off. Hand check on Burke County. It'll be East Lawrence basketball. 4.37 left to go in the third quarter. Bears still up, 23-20. Alexis Reed going to inbound this ball, looking to get it in to, uh, to De'Asia Thomas, and she will. De'Asia working in, kick it back out to Alexis. She'll pick up her dribble, give it to Michaela Tanner. She'll drive it in. Great yeah. pass. Great play. There it is. That's what we were just talking about. And there's Alexis Reed. Still the inbound. De'Asia Thomas, she'll put it up, and she'll go to the line. What a turn of events right there for the East Orange Falcons. That's what we've been talking about with Michaela Tanner. Her, her growth, growth as a passer, and there is a great pass from her right there. Sees the open girl down there, dish it to her. That's Bust. right. Looks like there's a young lady limping out there. That'll be Alexis Reed. Yeah, Alexis Reed. After that last basket, she came down limping pretty hard. Alexis, a real senior leader for this team. The Asia Thomas at the line. She'll miss her first. The Asia was here freshman year. She's coming back from Vidalia. It's been a couple of years there, and she's here to wrap up. Glad to have her back. Her senior year, that's right. No good. Can't get either to fall. Here's Tanner. She can get it. We know she can get her shot going, but she was unable to in the first half and hasn't found it here in the second half. In the, in the first, and we've got another injury here. Injury's killing these longer so it far. It is. Today. She's heavily limping. She'll be subbed out. Jayla Givens went out, and Burke County will call a timeout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take it with them. Y'all stay tuned. It's the game of the week. Falcons down by one point, 23-22, 4 left to go in this third quarter. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Matt Sapp, inviting you to come see us at Dexter Meat Company. Our fresh cut meats include cube steak, stew beef, chuck roast, chuck eye steak, ground beef, ground chuck, and if you love steaks, you'll really love our New York strip, T-bone and our ribeye and choice or prime cuts. And our marinated steaks have a distinctive taste that you'll be sure to love. We invite all our neighbors to come see us for the freshest cut of meat. Remember, we cater to. Call ahead and we'll have it fixed for you. Monday through Friday, 10 to 7, Saturday, 8 to 6. Hi, I'm Tom Domney, W. Nelson Company. We're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing, irrigation, and industrial products. We are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry. We're able to answer your questions and are ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wynn Nelson, our goal is long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right one customer at a time. Our showroom is complete with the latest styles and fixtures. Stop by and see us at 507 Airport Road, or give us a call at 478-272-3585 at Dublin Wynn Nelson. Here we go, we're back, and hey, Burke County 1-2, but they played some tough teams, looking for their second win of the season right here, and looking to get some revenge on East Lawrence after taking a loss to them earlier in the season. We'll have another foul call. And I know we didn't bring you the first half, but trust me, fouls have been called in a plenty right. thus far tonight. This will be a one and one. 
East Lawrence in the bonus. That'll send Deasia Thomas back to the line. She just went over for two on her last trip. She'll get another crack at it. Hopefully she makes up those two. I'm thinking, rumor has it, 34 just fouled out of the game, which I think may be what's happening with that substitution. Huh. So, as the officials talk it over with Coach Lozer, now we'll get some foul shots. De'Angelo Thomas at the line. Senior, one of the great senior leaders on this team. First is good. Get that one to fall. More talking between the officials uh, at the scoring table now. I think we probably, there's some disagreement over how many fouls the girl from Burke County had. As Coach Danielle Lothar will talk it over. It was the Burke County coach has made it over there as well. While I have a second here, I really want to highlight Coach Coleman and that yellow jacket over there on the bench. That's Man, right. Looking real sharp. Very sharp. He's getting blocked just now by one of the Burke players, but once they move, you'll be able to yeah, see him see well. It. And you can't miss him. Yeah, he sticks out. Looks real good. So Coach Luther's still talking this thing over. Get on him, Coach. And we're still talking over. Hey, well, we're at the new gym. Let's highlight some of that. That's I right. Mean, new gym it's looks great. Great, man. I mean, it looks incredible. I'm going to yeah. wind this up so we can get kind of a full view in yeah, here. Yeah, check it out. I mean, it looks awesome. And I'm I'm pretty sure that midcourt logo has not been painted yet. They're going to get to the paint. Uh, inside of the three-point arc, I'm loving all that. Yeah. I mean, that, that black, I mean, it looks great. It looks great. And we got a shot of friend of the station, Clay Reynolds, walking by there right now. There he is. Second one's no good. That's going to be out on Burton County. Nearly, actually. She was coming right at us yeah. right there. I'm going to blame that uh, second shot being missed on the officials. They kind of iced her out there. Yeah, I would definitely. I mean, she had three minutes. I mean, give us a point for that. <laughs> McKayla trying to get the ball. She'll trip and fall. Going to be back to her late. She's been playing tough all game. Yeah. And she does it. Both of them. Both, uh, both those Tanner twins. They do yeah. It. Another stoppage. Foul on the East. I think he said offset. Offset? Is that even a thing? I, I, that's what it sounded like from over here. I could be hearing wrong. I don't know what's happening. It'll be East Ball. I do know that. Yanni Lothar's going to take it out under the basket. Here we go, Alexa Reed, the senior leader, gonna try to kick it, drive in, but she'll kick it out at the edge of Thomas. Reed from deep. Not quite. Just short. Trying to trying to get used to the new rims. That's right. Coast to coast for Burke County. They're putting it there. And they're gonna retake that lead, 25-23. Three and a half left to go in this quarter. Man, all, all the stoppage, it's been a long third quarter. It has. Here we go, DeAsia Thomas up top. Drive it in. Get that thing blocked away from him. Twenty-five, twenty-three is your score. Bird County is up. East Lawrence trying to change that. DeAsia Thomas will get a bucket and then tied him. So it'll be tied up, all knotted up. That's the way this game's been. Ooh, out on East, but a good defensive play there. So the first we've seen in this second half, Brenda Tanner and Michaela Tanner in the game at the same time. 
She'll swing one. Good ball moving from Burke County. Good go from the bucket. Here's Michaela trying to push it. Good handles. Fires one up. There it is. Good. The crowd will get fired up. Michaela Tanner from deep puts one in. If she gets going, this thing can get out of hand quick. It'll be a block for East. Crowd loves it. I love it. Oh, they're gonna get, they're gonna get, they're gonna pin East for foul there, but it'll be and on the floor foul. Bird County gonna inbound. So East will reclaim the lead right there. 28-27, that's, right. that's your score. After a big shot from Michaela Tanner, as this game is going back and forth the whole time. That'll go out of bounds. Nearly hits off this year. East 4-1, like I mentioned, looking for their fifth win of the season. Bird County trying to, no, that'll be a travel. All right. Lothar on the inbound. Here we go. The momentum seems to shift a little bit in East Lawn's favor. Here's McKayla Tanner. She might be feeling it. I would not be surprised if she takes one. She can get hot. Foul called on the Bird County Bears, which would send McKayla to the line shooting two as East Lawrence is in that bonus. Michaela came into this game already five games into the season with 99 total points. Man. She has surpassed that now in this game. She's already at 100 for the season. That's incredible. She'll miss that. Talk, talking Off about that, that twin connection, Michaela and Brenda in the first matchup on December 2nd between Burke and East. They had 31 of East Lawrence 59 points. They got that connection. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure when you grow up with someone right. your whole life, right. there's something to it. Literally your whole life. Yeah. Ooh. Tries a touchdown pass. Burke County's going to pull it out. See, I don't understand that, Burke County. They did that several times in the first half as well. They're going to get McKaylee Tranner with an over the back side. Falcons up 29-27, just under two minutes left in this third quarter. It'll be Bird County on the inbound. The Bears from Waynesboro on the inbound, kicks one out. Back in, floats one, no good. McKaylee attempted a rebound, got knocked on the side. It'll be a foul on Bird County, it'll be East Lawrence basketball. All right. And another stoppage. Well, I don't know if, if that was a foul, wouldn't East be at the line? McKaylee hits the deck. Burke helps her up. And a good show of sportsmanship, but now Burke on the break. No good. Rebound. Then the Tanner. Working it up the floor. Good handles. Gets it to Lothar. She makes a good move towards the basket. Just can't no get it good. to fall. Burke now trying to push it, but gives East Lawrence another free chance. Can't get down the fall. There's your Tommy. Just got a little too hectic in there. Yeah. Finally, something comes out of it. It's now Diageo will be shooting two from the line. All right, try to extend this lead out a little bit, give him a little breathing room. Diageo. At the line. She's been there several times this quarter. Yeah. And she airmailed that one. And once again, these new rims, these new, I mean. Yeah, new on. fours, everything matters. I mean, yeah. 
their shoes don't stick like they yeah. did in the old no. court. I mean, it right. takes them getting used to it. That's right. That one's just a bit too hard. The Andy Luther with the board from the Tanner. Well, getting the ball stuck. Good hops Ooh. right there. Yeah, I'm thinking he can put on a dunk for it. Yeah, I wonder who he played for. I'll tell you what, I'm looking for a man on my pickup team. I think he'd, <laughs> think he'd join. Hey, you might want to hit him up after this game. I'll definitely talk to him. East Lawrence with a few subs. We're going small ball here. Close out this third quarter, minute 10. Take Deanny out of the game, as well as Deasia Thomas. Not quite. That's an, it's good. Yeah. Referee blows a whistle. A good offensive possession right there from Burke County. Just don't get the lay of the fall. Yeah, Burke County is not happy with that call either. Not at all. <laughs> Players get a little fired up. <laughs> yeah. That'll happen. Yeah, it, it will. It will. But it'll be East Lawrence basketball getting into the Tanner sister, Brenda, this time. Lexus Reed, the senior, with the basketball. Swings it. Brenda going to take it in. Nope. Can't get it to fall. Good take. Just can't get it to fall. Two players hit the deck. One for Burt. Man, they get the three players hit the deck. She rolls into Coach Coleman over there. And if you haven't got a good look at the jacket, there it is. Man, we got a couple of Burt players. Slow to get up after yeah. that. That hardwood is unforgiving, so yeah. it might take you a couple minutes to get your feet under you. No doubt. It don't give any. Right, clock ticks under 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Falcons up only by two still. They'll get a chance at a fast break opportunity. Brenda Tanner. Pass to her sister, Michaela Tanner. She'll pull it out. Pull on one. Get this gym fired up, but she can't get it to fall. Not quite. He hit the deck, maybe hoping for a foul, but now she leaks out and puts it in. She'll knot us up. 29 29, 10 seconds to go now in this third quarter. Here's Michaela. She was going to take it all the way. Gets trimmed up, hits the deck. 6.8 seconds remain now. Kayla's going to be at the line. Well, Kaylee, she's been money at the line this year. Gets a chance for two. McKaylee, excuse me. I think I said McKayla. Uh, we know what you mean. I, I'll forgive you. Can't get that one to fall. Steps away to collect herself. Tell you what, all of our games of the week this year, we've learned one thing. Free throws can win and lose games. I mean, it's huge. From the first one we come together, that Dublin West game, I mean. Yeah. For sure. She'll miss that one. East Lawrence gets it. It results in a jump. East Lawrence and Burke yeah, it results in a jump ball. Now it will be East Lawrence basketball. 3.9 to go. Let's see what we got designed here. Swing it in, only two seconds to go. You gotta fire one up. Just uh, had to force one up. And that's gonna bring us to the end of the third quarter, all tied up, 29-29. Y'all stay with us, it's the game of the week. It's holiday season here at Dublin Chevy Buick GMC, and that means we're getting ready for family. So we have our biggest inventory of the year to prepare for the parties. Whether it's a new Sierra, Silverado, or Buick, we have the selection for you. If you're happy with your current car or truck, Come let our GM certified technicians help you with all your service needs. And remember, Don sells Christmas cars well at Dublin Chevrolet. From our family to yours. We wish you a happy holidays from Dublin Chevrolet. 
At Georgia First Bank, we understand that experience is everything, and we promise to get it right the first time, every time. Selling a mortgage loan is a big piece of the puzzle when it comes to buying a new home. At Georgia First, we have quick turnaround for approvals, usually 24 to 48 hours. And the reason for that is local decision making. Let Georgia First secure your next mortgage loan. Georgia First Bank, Soperton in Vidalia and now in Dublin. Georgia First Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Here we go, we're back. Hey, we done the elevator for you. It's the fourth quarter now. And going back and listening, Coach Lothar's coach show as this game is knotted up at 29-29. She said, for this team to be successful, it's going to take energy and effort every single night. But Kaylee can't get down the ball. Energy and effort every single night, and we're definitely going to need it from these East Lawrence Lady Falcons now as they are now down two in this fourth quarter. We will need that energy and effort from them to come out with a win tonight. The senior, the Asian, takes it in. I think our official thought about calling foul, but he did not. And that one's tipped out by Green. So it'll be Burke ball. Burke County now with a two point lead. 31-29. Just over seven minutes to go in the game. Still plenty of time. Yeah, that's right. Good pass from Bird. Can't get the shot to fall. McKaylee on the break. She'll take it all the way. A little too hard. What's the call here? On the floor, foul. 20, and then it's the call's going to be on Burke County. So East will take it from the sideline. Lexus Reed on the inbound. Gets it into the age of Tom. Tom is working. Shot clock violation. Okay. So that hurts. That's the first of those we've seen this year. Yeah. It's kind of I, nobody was really paying any attention to it. I wasn't. It seemed short, but like I said, I wasn't really paying attention for it. So just lost track of the clock right there. Well, are they giving East Orange basketball? It may have been a shot clock malfunction. Uh, that seems right. Yeah, like you said, it, it, it was short. White ball, they're not gonna let us know what happened, but we do know it is white ball. All right, that's good enough for me. You know, you watch all the all the big broadcasts. They got rules, analysts, and all that. We yeah. may need to bring one on for us. Maybe so. Out on Burke County, we'll see Kicks if, and East Lawrence Chile. Let's see if we got it in the budget to bring one on. Yeah, we we can try. I reckon. I don't know. The Asia mid-range shot, no good. No good. A little too hard. Burke County on the break. Good pass. See, Burks had some good ball movement tonight, and you've seen that. They're just not getting their shots to fall, which is what's kept, they, kept this game close. Yeah. yeah. East hadn't been able to get any fall no. either. Yeah. Uh, McKaylee, typically, her shots are falling. I mean, you see she had the green light shooting in threes. Yeah. She's, we, she's only had one fall this entire game. And that's gonna hurt East. If Michaela can't get going, they gotta lean on some more, some more girls down that bench. Yeah, she can just get a little bit of momentum going. That's right. Start we, hitting those. I mean, we know that. East could run away with six of them, 24 left. Yeah, no doubt. Here's a free throw attempt from Burke County. The second one is no good. Lothar with the board. She's gonna take it herself. She'll give it to Brenda Tanner. Whistle, whistle. Six girls on the floor for Bird County. Oh. How does that happen? Man. A technical foul will be enforced now. That's a 
a bad mistake to make right here I in still, this game. You I don't mean, see that often. You really don't. I mean, I've I've been coming to high school games since I started at TV35 more than a few years ago, and I don't think I've seen one. It's rare. It's hard to do. Yeah. So I mean, congratulations, I guess. <laughs> Here's Brenda Tanner. She'll get two shots on the technical. First and good. Bring it to a one point lead by the Bears. Here's the second. In the second good. Not it up. All right. 31 31, 618 left in the game. Shout out to our official for noticing that six That's six right. on the court, because I surely I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, I, I might would have eventually, but it would have taken me longer than that, <laughs> if yeah. at all. Yeah. Uh, I, I did not know. I would have let him get away with it for longer than he did. <laughs> Pass in to Deanna Lothar. Here's McKaylee. If she can get going. And there she'll get that one to fall. 34-31. Falcons on top with about six minutes left in the game. McKaylee's hit two now in the second half. This pass is picked up. The two twins on the break. She'll give it to Brenda. Oh, can't give it a fall. I'm looking for a foul call. They'll get a travel on Bird County. It'll be right. East Barnes basketball. And a timeout called by Burke County. That's right. We'll take it with them. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to the game of the week. Falcons up 34-31, 5.54 left to go in this game. Y'all stay with us. Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. There's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. East Barnes on the inbound, Brenda Tanner. Getting ready to pass it in. She'll get it in. He's working around DeAsia. Pump fake, she'll take it in. Forces one up. Not a great shot. Ball burn ball. Literally throws it over the backboard. Yeah. She would, she was gonna take that herself no matter what. <laughs> yeah. She fired one up just a bit high. Here's McKaylee. Takes it in. She can't get anything working down there tonight. She's just now getting her three balls to fall. Hopefully we see a few more of those. Yeah, for sure. Here's Lothar. No good. She'll fight for a steal. Out on Burke. Back him off. In down is to the Asia. Good pass down low. It's good. There it is. Good bucket right there for Jayla Gibbons. We're making a five point game. Good D. Brenda Tanner gives it to her sister. She is blocked by Burke. Out on Burke. Tanner once again will inbound it under the basket. Give it to McGailey. She's working, fires one up. No good. Not quite. She's close on all of them. She is. Yeah. 
And you don't see, you don't see high school girls, especially in the Greg McKaylee's end, that can just fire one up like That's that right. and make it look so clean. Over the backboard, should be a dead ball, yeah. Right. McKaylee, just a sophomore. That's insane. And she is smooth with the basketball. Yeah, by the time she's a senior, she's going to be sinking those reliably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here is the Asia Thomas. Working one in. Brenda will fire one up. No good. We call East for a push. I don't know. Uh, I didn't see it. Yeah, I, I can't say I did, but. It'll be Bears, the County Bears ball. He's still up by five, 36-31. Brenda trying to get a steal. Three ball. Burt bounces a couple of times, but it won't fall. There's Gibbons. Pulls it back out. Swing to Brenda. She'll miss one. Lothar on the board. The edge a good pump fake, but she lost the ball. Now Lothar's gonna lose the ball, gets in a tile, jump ball, East Lawn ball. Timeout called by Coach Daniel Lothar for the East Lawn Falcons. All right, we'll take it with them. Ladies and gentlemen, your Falcons are up 36-31 with 3.46 left to go in this game. Y'all stay with us, it's the game of the week. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representative for Lawrence, Trutland, and Johnson Counties, is proud to support our local high schools, our East Orange Falcons, Trinity Crusaders, the Dublin High Fighting Irish, the West Orange Raiders, the Trutland County Vikings, and the Johnson County Trojans. Matt Hatchett, your District 150 representatives. Go team! Here we go, we're back in Brenda. Gonna inbound it once again. Bird County trying to stay in this game. And they'll get a steal there. Now they're gonna push this thing. On the break. Too much. Yep, too hard. Get another board for Bird County, but it won't matter. East is pushing it. Bird will get a steal. Two on two. Good pass. In. Good pass, good finish from Bird County. And here's Brendan Tanner with the ball. And really what has kept Burke County in this game has been Brendan Tanner and McKaylee Tanner. Th their shots aren't falling, you know. They yeah. have been in previous games, but they're not tonight. And we see one right there. On the year, McKaylee's shooting 41% from the field, and Brendan's shooting 40% from the field. That is good, That's especially good. with the amount of threes both of them take. That's right. Falcon lead shortened to three points with about three minutes left to go in the game. East Orange really needs to hold on to this. Inbound this to the Asia Thomas. Gibbons with the ball. Offensive foul. It's called on, I believe he's signaling for Alexis Reed. I think that's what it was. Not sure. I did not see it. <laughs> I'm not saying it didn't, I just was yeah. not watching. Yeah, I was watching the ball. So, getting closer and closer, that clock's ticking down. To the end of this game, East holding on to a three-point lead, and they'll get the ball back after that. Yeah, only 2.42 left to go in the game. But like I say, only a three-point lead. I yeah. mean, it's still anybody's game. No doubt. <laughs> Alexis Reed gets trapped in the corner. 
There's a tie up. I believe the jump is in favor of Burt County, if that's what they call. And they do. They're so calling the Burt County ball. They just need to bring that energy right here. They're searching for some of it. Crowd trying to give them some as well. Defense. Defense will win them this game. That's what they need. But Bird County draws a foul there. Right. Yeah, another thing Coach Lothar said in a coach's show, you know, we know we can score the basketball. Defense is where we're going to have to win our games. That's right. They need it right here in this final two minutes. In a big way. No good. No good. They'll get one more. Try to make this a two-point game. Falcons ready to crash the board. Second one's no good. Missing to the right. Here's senior Alexis Reed trying to fight against the trap. She'll get the ball out. Mm. Good idea from the exit Thomas, but it gets poked away. And taken back. Here's Tanner, McKaylee Tanner, working up top. Half of the lights just went out. All right. What is going on? It's pandemonium. Somebody hit the light switches. We got whistles, a towel. Uh, it looks like one of <laughs> Not sure one of the police officers leaned up against the the switches over there, they're flicking them on and off trying to get it fixed. <laughs> Looks like they can't figure out how to fix them. There we there go. There it is. Y'all got to be careful over there, officer. <laughs> but typically, Jim lights, you got to turn them with a key. Yeah. I so thought... I don't know. He must have just leaned up on them. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got a timeout. We'll take it with them. Ladies and gentlemen, only 150 left to go in this game. Falcons up by three points, 36-33. Y'all stay with us. It's the game of the week. Since 1916, Gravely has been designed, engineered, and made right here in the USA. Whether you prefer gas or electric, every Gravely has been forged with the commercial landscaper in mind. So they're not only built to last, but to also keep you riding comfortably from dawn to dusk. So ask yourself, are you ready to graduate to a Gravely? Find your new Gravely mower at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. Here's McKinley Tanner, she'll put that one up in short. Are they gonna give her three shots? It looks that way. McKaylee Tanner. Here we go. With three shots. They're gonna say she got fouled on the shot. We'll take it. Man, all of a sudden, Burt County with the lead. Yeah, I mean, it's a one point lead, but that is a lead. Yeah, it is. McKaylee with a chance to tie on this shot and then take the lead after that. Couple of substitutions now for Burke County. Great. A tight one here for East. They have not had really a tight game since that West Lawrence game earlier in the year. That ties it up, 37-37. I said they haven't had a tight game. That's because they've been winning big these past yeah. few games. Second shot for the lead. They take that lead back. And that's just another thing you don't see often from a sophomore. She's so she's so calm at the line and in a, in a tight, close game. At that's home. right. And she's, I mean, y'all can see this camera shaking when. Burt goes to stomping in the bleachers trying to distract her. She just shuts it out and yeah. does what she's got to do. And she'll get oh, all three. Three in there. Making a two-point game, 39-37. Burt County, they got a little bit of 
Martin Brake opportunity. No. Nope. Nothing into the fall. Swings it. McKinley Tanner going to take it in. Throws it up, but she'll get a foul. Foul again. 105 left in this game. Falcons up by two. We're going to try to stretch that out a little bit with these uh, free throws. Yeah, and you see that right there. Even though McKayla's not able to get that to fall, she's still so dangerous down there because she draws so many fouls That's when she right. goes up. Oh, not quite. Can't get that one to fall. Yeah. Front rim for him. Yeah. Just got to put that one behind you, focus on the next one. That's right. Chance to extend this lead to three, which would be huge. Would with only a minute five left. Go on. I don't. And it's in. And it's in. I don't think Burton County has hit a three pointer tonight. And they'll pull fake one and drive in. Put it in. She'll get that to fall. The Burton County faithful will fire it up about it. Here's McKaylee. McKaylee coming up quick. Driving in. Timeout. Coach Danielle Lothar. Probably going to slow things down for a sec. Yeah, not, not a bad idea. 48.2 left in this game. We'll stay with you. Falcons up 40-39 over these Bears. Man, I tell you what. I know a lot of our viewers when football season ended, they're thinking, where's the game of the week? Here yeah. we are, we are hot. I mean, we've That's had right. so many nail biters, so many good games. That's right. I mean, all of them really yeah. have been yeah. just great games. And looking to pull out an East Lawrence win right here tonight. Yep. No. Ho hopefully it won't come down to a buzzer beater like we saw over <laughs> at West. Yeah. But if it does, just a little extra excitement. That's, that's right. So I, I'm interested to see what Coach Luther comes out with here. She may have some design play for an easy bucket, or let's let's pull this thing out. We got 25 seconds of shot clock to try to burn here with only 48.2 seconds left on yeah. the game clock. Because, I mean, you saw McKaylee right there. She was driving, trying to go in. She Coach, was going for it. Yeah, Coach Lothar going to burn in timeout. So I'm, I'm interested to see what, what the Falcons come out here with yeah. here with only a one-point lead. You got to think she's going to draw off a quick play here to extend the lead a little bit. I we'll would see. think. Yeah, I mean, you a one-point lead, you it's still close. I mean, you don't want to burn off 20 seconds and then them get the ball and right. get up on you. Cannot play conservative with a one-point lead. Let's see. Looks like the first option wasn't there. She goes with a safety oh, option, no. but it's picked off. Burton County is going to take the lead. Takes the lead with 44 seconds left. Here's McKaylee. She's got some time. She's working good handles for me. Gets that thing nearly part the way. She's going to fire up a three. And it's good. The fans go crazy. McKaylee Tanner nails one, puts these lines on two. A steal from the senior. This crowd's going crazy. Girls, Rosa's going to call it. We got timeout. a timeout. 20 seconds left. Falcons up by two. We'll take one more break and be back. You don't want to miss this. It's the game of the week. Jeff Shepard here back in Roach Farm and Garden where hunting season never ends. Need a new feeder? Roach Farm and Garden carries boss, buck, and moultrie, spin, and gravity. Even got them that hold 600 pounds. That's a lot of feed. Speaking of feed, Roach Farm and Garden carries 4S Draw, FRM, Wild Game Innovation, and even Antler Extreme. Whole kernel corn, corn on the cob, pick up your salt blocks, and even have trophy blocks. Don't forget, Roach Farm and Garden carries trapping supplies so you can take control of your property. It's right next to the 4S Draw. You need something to cook your game? Roach Farm and Garden has grills, griddles, fryers, and smokers. Roach Farm and Garden carries a full line of patio furniture, flags, wind chimes, and bird feeders. Don't leave out of here with some holy boots and shoes. We got a full line of Carhartt and Georgia boot. Come see us at Roach Farm and Garden, two locations, Wrightsville and Dublin. She's got ice in her veins. McKaylee Tanner nails one from D. And then East is going to come away with a steal. It's going to be East Lawrence Rock here. If they can hold on to the ball, Burke County's going to have to start fouling. Alexis Reed's going to inbound it. McKaylee Tanner, a huge shot. And I, 
And I've been saying she can't get her shot going. What, what was I thinking? She nails right. one. Deasia Thomas is going to probably get fouled. A hard foul at that. Clock stops with 13.8 left in this game. And y'all already know we got that boys game coming. It's going to be a thriller as well. That's right. East. Let's, let's wrap up the girls' Yeah, game. let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get excited. <laughs> it's an exciting game. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Inbound. Oh, I think Burke hit it out. It's going to stay here. Coach Lothar was unhappy with something that happened right there yeah. as the whistle blew, but maybe Alexis Reed comes out of the game. Not sure if that has anything to do with it. The Asia Thomas will check in. Oh, good pass to Anna Lothar. She's pushed down. Give me a technical. Are you kidding me? That's disgusting. No. <laughs> I mean, pushes are in the back. Yeah, that, that seems flagrant. 11.7 left in this game. He's going to try to take it up another couple points here. Look at the Burke County thing. Uh, not happy. But what are you going to do? Well, I'm ready to send them back to Waynesboro crying. <laughs> they get on my nerves. Uh, we're over here on their side, so we got to tread lightly. <laughs> Here's the area of the night Board, fires one up. Probably not a good decision because now Burke County can tie the game. And she misses it. Shoes. Absolutely just misses the shot. Got ahead of herself. She is beside herself after missing that one. That is tough, Yeah, tough, that tough. is, that is. You got to make that. I mean, yeah. it, it was just her in the basket. You That's know? it. I mean, these Burke County fans are on their feet. So timeouts called. Yeah, timeouts called. We'll stay here with you. Only 2.7 left in this game. I mean, God. We know, and they'll try to fire up the Falcon fans. That's right. We know anything can absolutely happen here, and the crowd's going to get into it. <laughs> Let's go, Falcons. Uh-oh. And the response from Burke County. A <laughs> hey, good old-fashioned high school basketball. Yeah. Uh, we're on the Burke County side. They'll go at it with the other side of the floor. <laughs> yeah. Why not? So here we go. Burke County is going to inbound this basketball with 2.7 seconds left in the game. All right. What are they going to do with it? Hopefully not score. <laughs> That's right. So they're down to 43-41. Do they want to go for the win here? Uh, they could no. potentially. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you got to try for the two. We'll see. I think, but I'm not a coach, so we'll see. <laughs> they have not been hitting from deep. They gotta get some in, they do. They can't get the ball, they don't get the ball. And that's the buzzer. Good to win for Kennedy Turner with the basketball. She's fired up. A huge win for the East Lawrence Lady Falcons. Huge, huge win right there at the end. You gotta love it. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. We've got some action from the boys team coming up. Your score on this door, girls game after it's all said and done. Falcons 43. Bears 41, it's the game of the week on TV 35.